27 pounds, Jacob Hart. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are here in the Yokohama Dome here in Japan for PWJ on Azure Darkness 64. We've got two up and coming wrestlers from the NSW Academy from Leeds. They've wrestled outside of NSW before. Let's see how these two get on. Should be a technical masterclass of a wrestling match. And already a suplex there by Curtis Dynamite, Kagazu, the official referee here. And look how many fans here in Pro Wrestling Japan have attended here in Yokohama. We must be near 60 millions or something in attendance. Oh, nasty move there by Curtis Dynamite. It's not there. Driver, I believe he calls that. Oh, a kick to the gut there by Curtis Dynamite. Trained in the technical wrestling style. Big fan of Brett the Hitman Hart. An all oh, nasty tornado kick from the ropes there by Jacob Hart himself. Not part of the Hart family. Nice frog splash there by Jacob Hart there. And now, oh, wait a minute, what's, what's he looking up here on the... Just wrenching on those arms, almost in a chicken wing fashion. Is he measuring Curtis Dynamo already? He's not going for the sweet chin music kick, is he? Did, he? did he just kick him in the shin? He literally kicked him in the shin for that DDT. Oh dear. Taking Mick Foley's playbook, I guess. Well enough, though. Remember where you are. We're in the Yokohama Dome in the Japan Hall Arena. And Curtis Dynamite getting up. Capitalizing on Jacob Hart's cockiness, goes behind. Strong German suplex there by Curtis Dynamite, going for the knee strike. The fans here in Pro Wrestling Japan are definitely glued to the screens here. These two are very technical wrestlers normally. Oh, what a reverse hurricane runner there by Curtis Dynamite. Oh, but look at this sling blade from Jacob Hart. And just a strong stiff kick there, going back on top, it seems. Let's go for the 450, but gets caught on the knees. He might be in a bit of trouble here, and the fans have sensed it. I wish to the corner. Knife edge chop to the chest. That cannot be good for Jacob Hart right now. Curtis Dynamite in control. By the way, if you ever new to this channel or series, please consider subscribing to Azure Darkness 64 on YouTube. If you like what we do, please leave a like and share the comments on below. We'd love to hear from you guys and girls. And that springboard kick wasn't enough for Jacob Hart to get the victory there. Oh, wait a minute, in the powerbomb position. Oh, almost into a Liger bomb. Or well, the set out powerbomb in simpler terms. Went for the elbow drop, but missed. Curtis Dynamite gets out of the way. Obviously measuring his opponent. What's he he's going for what looks like a Boston Crab, also known as the Walls of Jericho. And he's got it locked in, center of the ring. Will Jacob Hart tap out here in the Japan Hole here in Yokohama? Nobi finds a way, rolls into a cover. Nicely done, will he get a victory here? Curtis rolls it over. And a kick out one. Very evenly matched these two competitors. And now Curtis Dynamite going for the Kremlin clutch. He loves his submission game. Very inspired by Bret Hart, as you can tell. And he's also a bit of a fan of Sack Sabre Jr. as well. And I think Jacob Hart is as well. Oh, wait a minute. Goes behind again. Locking up that STO takedown. Goes for the cover again. Will this be it here? Hard to believe these two are NSW graduates and they're showing it here in the big hall here in Yokohama. And now what's Curtis Dynamite got in mind? He's in the wheelbarrow position into a Heyman stunner. 
Oof, that will definitely knock some sense into you. Wait a minute, uh, he's got something measured here. Almost in a Romeo special. Oh, this is going to be painful. Curtis has got it locked in here. Oh, he's not done. Oh, my God, just pulling on the back and neck. Oh, my God. You can't bend that way, surely. That's the only way you can escape, really. That, that would definitely stretch your limbs and ribs out if you're not careful. Throws him to the outside. Jacob Hart, not a fan of that at all. Well, they're both outside the ring now. Now, Curtis Dynamite still in control here. Some say he has a bright future here in NSW. Some of the coaches think he's one of the hardest working trainees they had. And of course, Jacob Hart has a lot of promise as well. He's already competed in a few NSW shows and other wrestling promotions. Oh, wait a minute. Springboard tornado kick again by Jacob Hart going on back on a turnbuckle. Oh, but gets caught. This is a bad place to be right now. And the skip slam there by Curtis Dynamite. Now Mole stomping. Getting a little frustrated here a little bit. Going back into the Boston Crab, it seems. Comes in the official referee here in the Yokohama Dome. Can Jacob Hart get out of this one? Well, he found the way out again. Goes for the roll-up again. Will he get a victory here? No, nope, rolls over. And a kick out again, says Kagazu. Rolls away. Springboard misses the forearm. Dynamite made sure of that. Oh, just a vicious punch. That's not very technical, is it? Well, here in the PWJ fans here are very happy to see these two young competitors in the ring. Definitely fired up in this match. They're both on top ropes here. What they got in mind? Hurricane runner from the top rope. And now Curtis Dynamite in control. Could he finish the match up here? Kicks him in the gut into a elevated DDT. Nicely done by Curtis Dynamite. And now what's he going for here? Tequila Sunrise. He's going for that, is he? Center of the ring, nowhere to go. Could Jacob Hart escape this one? The crowd here in Yokohama definitely glued to this match. And Jacob Hart escapes. Just barely, though. Locking up again, Irish went to the roll. Oh no, over the ropes he goes. Oh, out he goes. Uh, can you stay away from the announce table, please, guys? I was told this would be a technical masterclass. Oh, the things I do. Looks like Jacob Hart's getting a little frustrated there. Great counter, that dragon screwed over by Curtis Dynamite. And now frozen to the... Oh, oh my God! Ribs first to the steel steps. Remember, it's a 20 count here in the Yokohama Dome. For some reason, some rules are slightly different than the ones we have here in England. Because we have a 10 count in England and same in the States. But for some reason, in Yokohama Dome, it's a 20 count. Well, Jacob Hart in control now into a... Oh! Nasty roundhouse kick from the way down. Goes for the cover. Will this be it here? And the fans can't believe it's a two count. Jacob Hart can't believe that was a two count. This venue is something else. And these two young wrestlers from NSW are definitely showing their showcase here what they can do. He's going to kick him in the shin again, isn't he? We all know that's not a super kick. Well, he saw that one coming a mile away, and there it is. That vicious clothesline from Curtis Dynamite. Oh, wait a minute. Going for that elevated DDT again. Reminds me of Davy Boy Smith in some places, the way he wrestles. Oh, wait a minute. He's going to the fireman's carry. Into a Minchinuka driver! He nailed it! Right here in the Oklahoma Dome! Will this be it? 
And that was it. The Michinoku driver was enough. Wow, what a victory for the young man right there. Well, congratulations to Curtis and both athletes in general. Thank you for stopping by this channel. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.